Is the new Logic E R9 just a pretty face or is it something special? As the best-selling portable ultrasound ever, the GE Healthcare Logic E has sold over 12,000 units since 2008. The latest version, the R9, has a new modern design as well as some new features. Hi, I'm Brian Gill with Probo Medical, and today we're looking at the new GE Healthcare Logic E R9, which replaces the Logic E Next Gen. Now, before I begin, full disclosure, we are a distributor for new GE Healthcare ultrasound products. That being said, we remain manufacturer agnostic as the refurbished ultrasounds are still the heart of our ultrasound business and we sell refurbished ultrasound from nearly every manufacturer. All of our reviews are based upon hands-on testing from our team, which includes four registered sonographers, each of which has more than 25 years experience as clinical sonographers and application specialists. Together, our team has seen nearly every machine, which allows us to give real-world reviews on every system we test. Now, on to the review. The first thing you'll notice is the R9 has seen a major physical redesign. First, it's all white. Second, you'll see a less cluttered user interface, more ergonomic design, and then it's much more friendly to sterile environments. Features like the sealed keyboard, digital TGC, and trackpad have a dual purpose. First, it's general hygiene and that it's easier to sterilize, but these components are much less susceptible to damage because there's fewer moving parts. Now about that trackpad, this one's a bit controversial. Some like it, others don't. Most sonographers will say, ick, but this machine isn't designed for sonographers who will be using this eight hours a day, five days a week. In nearly all those cases, a cart-based machine is a much better option. The trackpad was designed with the primary care market in mind. Sonosite has been doing the trackpad since the early 2000s, so this isn't revolutionary. And with the experiences I've had with users, adapting to the trackpad doesn't take long. The trackpad was added based on feedback from the market this machine was designed for, the primary care market. This includes MSK, sports medicine, family practice, rheumatology, endocrinology, private vein and vascular clinics, and internal medicine. GE Healthcare spent a lot of time with this market in developing the R9, and its updated features and user interface were designed accordingly. Performance improvements stood out against the Logic E Next Gen, as well as its primary competitors. We saw improvements in its features, image quality, and overall performance. Additionally, when going side-by-side -side with competitors in the market, the R9 is a Logic E that finally stood out above the crowd in nearly all applications. We really like the R9's image quality, particularly with small anomalies that most portable ultrasounds will miss. This is the most notable when we scanned small parts in abdominal imaging where small but key differences in tissue can't be seen by other machines. Now, the most pleasant surprise on the R9 was in cardiology. We saw a significant upgrade over the next gen, particularly in color Doppler, where the Logic E Next Gen required significant adjustments to get a barely acceptable image. Now, its frame rates, color, and penetration make it a better choice than others in its price range for cardiology, even more so because when you get it from Probo, you'll also get a long-term warranty, auto EF, TDI, TVD, auto INT, and stress echo as standard options. So, the Logic E is now a true shared service machine. Previously, we did not recommend the Logic E for those doing much cardiac imaging. Now, the Logic E is a standout in the portable ultrasound market. Some other new key features on the R9 that stood out to us. First, it's quiet. Previous models sounded like they wanted to take off when those fans got going. That issue is gone, thank you. Strain elastography was added. There's a new four to 20 megahertz button probe. This popular button probe now can go up to 20 megahertz, which provides improved near field resolution, allowing better breast and other superficial imaging. Extended battery life. Scan time is improved to 45 minutes, and the secondary battery and cart scan time will improve to up to three hours. There's an improved cart design. Customers talked about the poor height adjustment, not too high and not too low. It now has a broader range on the height adjustment, which provides better ergonomics. Scan assist. This is long overdue and a major addition for efficiency and reducing scan time. The R9 is more than a new look on an old system. This is a true upgrade on the Logic E Next Gen in many ways. 
Now, the older versions are still great and offer tremendous value for those needing a budget machine that can do so many things. But for those needing more advanced features and want a new system with an extended warranty and plenty of features on it, this is now our top portable ultrasound for the primary care market. I'm Brian Gill from Probo Medical. Thanks for listening.